Which part of your body hurts? Yeah, you your throat. The count is up to 10 kids at my house. So this is the kind of stuff that happens at VidCon. Good morning. Good morning. Jeremy is still in California today. And yesterday was my first day with him gone in California and it actually went really well. But as I went to bed, I was super tired. So I'm babysitting four kids for my neighbor this morning and then I'm babysitting my nephew and then I'm babysitting my niece and nephew actually for the whole rest of the day and overnight. Hey dude. It's just you mom. You guys having fun? Yeah, I'm playing baby house on the I'm trying to wrap, wrap up this baby, that's mine. Sure, I'll wrap up your baby. What's your baby's name? Oh, Sarah. I love it. Oh, you got her. You got her, hi, Baker. What are you playing? Wolves. Oh, you guys are wolves? And I used our owner. We came in such. Hi, Janae. Hello. So this is awesome. I don't have any of my kids around me at the moment because I'm babysitting four extra kids. And so somehow nine kids feels like less than five kids. How that works, I don't know. But they all like paired off and they're all playing and they're happy. Legos. Hey. Hey. Yeah. So VidCon wouldn't be complete without hanging out with Sam and Nia. <laughs> and April and Davey. The last two VidCons, we were hanging out with these guys a lot and had tons of fun. The count is up to 10 kids at my house and it's going really well. Go Easton. <gasps> nice. Snack time. So this juice box pack has 10 pouches in it, which is perfect, because that's how many kids we have here right now. You ready for a snack? Oh yeah. Are you gonna open that one? The boys are strong like this. We're gonna use these little cups to put the goldfish in. You're gonna carry those outside? Here. Just bring the whole box out and hand them out. You no, know, I think this is easier. You think so I can just lay them on the table and then people can come get them when they want. So you think it's easier to carry them like that than to carry yeah. the box? Well, Michael, can you open the door for me? Making a bone arrow. Cool, so what are your supplies? String, a stick, scissors to cut the string, wrap it around, then get another stick. So the other stick is gonna be the arrow? Mm hmm Yeah, I think that's about right. I'll try to catch some food so I can try living in the wild. I'll see if it works. Oh. Who knows, it might not. It might. What kind of food do you think you're gonna catch? Birds, bunnies. What are you gonna do with the food when you catch it? Eat. How are you gonna eat a bunny? I'm gonna get all the, the blood out of it and then I'll put it in the fire and toast it. Yeah. I'll see Jeremy. You've got a big day ahead of you, dude. Caleb, you were born to be like a farmer or a mountain man, something like that. Me and Michael like building. Good luck, boys. Good luck. So a big YouTuber came out into the public space and people are going crazy.
It's going the wrong direction, huh, bud? How do you use bow and arrow? Poor Caleb. I'm trying to explain to him why the bow's not working. It's hard because I can't really even put it into words. I mean, like a bow and arrow, the bow, the string you pull back isn't just a regular string. It's got like bounce back to it. It's more like a rubber band I described it to him, and the bow kind of bends under the pressure. Clearly, I don't know any of the technical terms, but we need to learn about bows, and then maybe we can build one. How was your nap, Miss Laura? Good. She likes to nap in her PJs. The next round of cousins has arrived and more fun is beginning. Hi, Luke and Allie. I wish there were. Hello. Okay, who's ready for the activity? Me. So here's what you guys are gonna do. You guys are gonna build these marble machines. So we've got a mini coaster kit and a mini skate park maker kit. So you boys are gonna make the skate park, and you girls are going to make the mini coaster. Are you excited? Yeah. These are like puzzle pieces. Oh yeah. Looks like you have to kind of push them out. First they built a platform strong enough to hold a coffee mug. Caleb found a need for a hammer. Well, these projects are awesome, but they're a little more challenging than we had anticipated, and so the kids are taking a break, then we're gonna come try it again. Go, Gert, break. Uh, How is it? Like scream. Well, I got Janae to sleep. We'll see how long that lasts. That was my phone, and do you hear all these kids? Like, who knows how long this is gonna last. This looks awesome, guys. So the gear system literally carries the marble. Oh. You did it! You guys, I'm so proud of you. Well, the boys wanted to give up, but they didn't, and they finished it, and I'm so proud of them. This one's almost done. The girls are finishing up. Do you wanna see my flip-flops? Are they my flip-flops? Yes, but they're mine now. Oh. They fit very well. Lisey, someday you and I will have the same size feet and we will and share we'll all earrings. of our shoes. We'll have the same earrings. And I'll wear your clothes. And I'll wear your clothes. It's gonna be awesome. Let's do it. It works. There we go. Come on, come on. Need a little motivation. There we go. Oh no! I'm trying it without the back. Boop! <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. I decree it done and you guys geniuses that rule the world. Alright, well those kits turned out to be a little more time intensive and challenging than we had expected. Even I had a hard time putting some of the pieces together. Anyway, I was proud of the kids because they worked through the hard spots, but now we are headed to eat dinner. Miss Laura! You need to get in your seat, you can't drive. All right, so we are at the drive-thru of Panda Express. It's gonna be good. I decided to order a family feast, and Janae, I was hoping would fall asleep, and she has not fallen asleep. We're almost there, bedtime is coming, bedtime is coming. We ordered the family feast from Panda Express. We got chow mein, fried rice, and regular rice. And then we chose orange chicken. We got two of those, because that's a favorite, and this is string bean chicken. And Allie recommended the egg rolls. And I love the cream cheese rangoons. Which part of your body hurts? Yep, your throat, man. Caleb has a fever. Laura just had a potty accident, and so I'm gonna need to give her a bath, and she peed all over the floor, so I need to clean that up. And Janae did not take a nap again, and so she's fussy and crying. I'm gonna go count my blessings so I don't get grumpy, turn on a movie for the kids, and call it bedtime. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Wish me luck. Jay, how's up? My body might not be, you know, some like supermodel status. It was worth it. Janae and all my kids and the chocolate chip cookies that I had, worth it. Pink, pink, pink. My day started with waking up in a peed in bed and it's ending with poop all over my clothes. 